Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KV5062660 on your Windows 11 computer because of this error code that is 0x8073712. So the first step is to pause and restart the update. So you can go to Windows update and then over here uh, you will see pause option. So hit pause and then click this process may take some time and then you can click on resume updates and once you see the update try to install it once again and then check. Next step is to start app readiness service. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness and then set startup type to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click on app readiness then click on restart. Now find windows update in the list, scroll down here you can see windows update, make a double click on windows update, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected make a right click then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. And now you can try to update your Windows 11 and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, I write down the name of the update that is KB5062660. So it's KB5062660 and then click on search over here. Now over here, uh, you will see your update. Uh, you can check what kind of system you have. You can go to system, you can go to about option. Over here, in my case, it's 64-bit operating system. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 base system. Now click on download and then you will see this KB5062660. Now click on it and then you can, once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer. Still not working. The next step is to fix, use option fix problems using Windows update. Now for this open Windows settings, go to Windows update and then go to advanced option over here. Click on recovery option and then over here you can see the option which says fix problems using Windows update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. Click on reinstall now. This process will take some time and once this is complete, now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to reset windows update components now for this copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description so copy till here and then notepad open notepad in computer paste all the command over here go to file click on save as set the location as desktop you can name this file as wufix.bat and then go to save as type select all files over here click on save and then you can go to desktop make a right click on windows w uh, sorry make a right click on wu fix file and then make sure that you open this as an administrator click on yes to allow and let the process complete now this process will take some time first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now there are a couple of scans so if you go through the commands over here, you can see there are multiple scans. Once the scan is complete, it will restart all the Windows update services and then you can check. This process will take some time. And once this is done, once this is complete, uh, you can restart your computer and then you can check. Next step is to use media creation tool. So if nothing works, you can uh, copy this command. Uh, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. And then it will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, you will see media creation tool. Scroll down here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then you can run the CXC file. When you run the CXC file, uh, you will see this screen. Uh, click on accept over here. And then select Windows 11. By default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file over here and then click on next. Set the location as desktop. Click on save and then let the download complete. This process will take some time 
and then you can click on finish let it close automatically and then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file run the setup file make a double click click on yes to allow and then click on next over here accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer now click on install make sure this is checked and then click on install after the installation log into the computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel